Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss this problem from board forces, problem name increase and decrease. So Polycarpus has an array consisting of n integers a1 till n and what Polycarpus can do is that Polycarpus like when numbers in the array match it, they become equal to each other. That's why what he wants that Polycarpus to have as many equal number as possible. For that, Polycarpus perform the following operation multiple times. He can perform it any number of times. He can choose any two array elements, and then what he can do? He can simultaneously increase the value of one element and decrease the value of another element. So as you can see, like assume to be two buckets side by side, uh, they have some water in it. So what you can do? You can take out the like one unit water from this and put it in some another bucket. So that the value of this bucket decreased by one, and the another bucket increased by one. Okay, so now the given operation changes exactly two distinct array elements. So, like it can change two elements and you can apply it as many times as you want. So, how many maximum number of equal elements you can get after performing this operation? Okay, so I'll take it out to a drawing board. So, this is the second example in which you are given three numbers. Okay, so now the maximum or if you want to come out to the middle because you want every number to be equal okay now you can because of the total number of water because you can assume to be these buckets you can only transfer water from one bucket to another bucket okay but the total number of water will remain to be same okay it remains to be constant so what does this mean that you cannot increase everything to come to the score or decrease everything to come to it one so the total number will remain same so how you can do here is you can equalize the water okay equalize means you want to come it to the middle so for finding out what is the middle range what you can do here is you find out the total number of water and divide it among all the buckets equally such that every will every bucket will get equal amount of water so if the total of this is 6 and if you divide it by 3 then it turns out to be 2 what does this mean it means that they are saying that we can do such certain operations such that the, the the limit or the middle every bucket can get is equal to 2 okay so can this be possible so okay let's check can this be possible to make this possible what we can do here is we want first for segment to be equal to 2 but it has only only one water so what you can do here is just take from the left or from the right side bucket what you can do here is if it's less you can just take out water from this bucket and put it here such that this how many water it wants it wants middle minus one because it is less so middle minus this element is the amount of water it needs so first make this equal to two and then what you will do when you make this equal to two decrement this bucket with the same amount so this will become equal to because i have taken one here i have decrement equal to three and it will become like this now this is equal to 3 and we make it equal to 2 so what you will do because it is higher than 2 you will make this equal to 2 and transfer this to the uh, another bucket the side one bucket so it will equal to 2 and for the last bucket just check whether it is equal to 2 yes so it means that it is possible to transfer everything to every bucket so we are just conjugating for every bucket make this bucket come to the middle and whatever condition is required if it's more than the middle transfer the excess element to just its adjacent bucket and if it's less than the middle transfer water from its adjacent bucket inside it so that it will come to the middle and after that what you will do you will check whether it has become to middle it has come to the middle or not so that's the main logic and i'll take it down to the code now so this is the code you will take the first input of all the numbers take the total how many steps uh, Okay, so this is total. So, so what you tell? How many? What is the total number of uh, total water in this to get the total amount of water? So, what you can do here is you can first uh, take the input of all the uh, like what all the values. You can also take the count of total. After that, the middle or the middle element you can reach is total divided by total number of buckets, which is total divided by n. Now, what you can do here is the total number of elements which are okay or which means that it has come to the middle element we can count it in okay now you can iterate over all the elements except the last element okay so what you can do 
for every element if it's equal to the middle element then it's all it's okay so it is, you just increment the okay count and uh, like continue else if this value is greater than the middle value what you can do because this is greater than the middle value you can push the excess water into the right bucket so the right bucket i plus 1 will add this amount of water which is ai because it is greater than the middle value so how much it is greater from the middle you will transfer this to the next value bucket and make this value equal to the middle value and increment the total because it has become to the middle okay else if it is smaller what you can do you can make this equal to middle and transfer water from its next bucket inside this bucket and increment the total after you come out of this loop you will check whether the last element by default has come to the middle after doing all these transitions you will always also increase the total and then after that it will get the total number of buckets which has come to the middle and they just made okay i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention now thank you for watching this video i'll see you next one till then keep coding bye